Starting today, the Diocese of Des Moines has new policies when it comes to how it's handling gender identity in its churches and schools. Local 5's Mary Sugden joins us with what's different at these sites. Stephanie, the diocese outlined seven policies revolving around gender identity. Everything from preferred pronouns to bathrooms and locker rooms students and staff can use to after school activities are all covered in this document, a move that's drawing criticism from LGBTQ plus advocacy groups. The Diocese of Des Moines unveiled seven new gender identity policies. It states those in its churches and schools will not be allowed to use preferred pronouns. People can only use its bathrooms and locker rooms in accordance with their biological sex. The same goes for extracurriculars. If a dress code or uniform exists, students are to follow it for their biological sex. Admission to single-sex schools and retreats will also follow the student's sex at birth. And no medication that aids in gender reassignment will be allowed on diocese property. Finally, those questioning their gender should be guided to ministers and counselors within the church. That sounds like conversion therapy to me, um, which we know for a fact is not only cannot deliver the results that it promises, but in fact is, you know, a dangerous discredited practice. While the Diocese of Des Moines states those experiencing gender dysphoria are unconditionally loved by Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church, advocacy groups feel this new set of policies contradicts that. We're saying you know, this is compassion and here are all the horrible ways that we're going to treat you um, in the name of compassion. Keenan Crow with One Iowa acknowledges the diocese has the right to set its own policies and practices, but feels the rhetoric is harmful, especially for young people and needs to be spoken out against by advocates like them. Probably the most dangerous thing for an LGBTQ person is lack of acceptance from their family. And so if, um, an institution is able to convince their family members that this is the way that they should be treated, that absolutely skyrockets um, the, the adverse mental health outcomes, the suicide risk. And a spokesperson for the diocese was not available for comment today. However, they tell Local 5 News they will be available to address this later in the week. You can find the full policy document and an FAQ posted on the diocese website.